we kick off our boys lacrosse season calico and warwick facing one another in a section two matchup two local squads going head to head warwick warriors and Kikalico, we saw Kikalico a bunch last year. If you remember, they were in the playoffs, district playoffs, all the way to the finals. And you see head coach Matt Overly really took them there for the first time ever. First appearance in the finals, did not get the win, lost to LS, but still, this program is heading in such a great direction and they look to continue that here this season. Warwick, they're here with second year head coach Gary Minnick and uh, have played three games this season. They are one and two, Kikalico is three and oh so far. Nate Skidmore, number 43. Those are some names to keep an eye on. Of course, Aiden Minnie, the senior leading scorer, is number 16. Defense very aggressive for Kikalico coming out there. Yeah, they ran to a double real quick. Trying to work things around. That's Amy. Minnie out top at this point position with the leg sleeve on. They're passing him off nicely. Inside shot, it hits the post and goes in. Hummel finds the angle and Warwick strikes first. Well, that's a great feed up for Minnie to see Hummel hanging out in that low spot. We're gonna see in a second here. So he pulls down, there, yeah. yeah, he pulls down, he gets a step above. One pass on the shoulder, and what a finish by the freshman there. <laughs> Put that on the back pipe. That's that a is tough angle to find. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Low ankle back <laughs> pipe. All right, well, Warwick in the lead here. There is a little bit of difference of a good shot versus a bad shot that they've kind of gone through, but he's very confident in his guys. You see, again, they just yeah, keep peppering volume. the goal here. Yeah, that was volume. Gallagher. And it's, I mean, so far they really haven't put as many on frame, sure. but I mean, you take enough shots, you give yourself enough opportunity to score, and usually good things happen. Yeah, he was talking about yeah, percentage-wise and the, the amount of opportunities, and you hope those two things match up into a win. There's another shot attempt by Martin. Looked like it was deflected. Nash scoops it up. So a lot of shots, no goals yet. Inside Nash, he misses, and nobody home. I think That'll go back over to the Warriors. Yeah, Warwick, Warwick back that up. Come an issue but we're early in the game, so we'll see how they handle it. Very early. There was a check there. A turnover. Uh, yeah, so you are not, if you do not have your stick in your hands, you are not allowed to play around the ball. So what he called there was playing without. So like there, he can't obstruct anyone mm. else to the ball when he doesn't have his stick in his hands. That is an interesting little wrinkle there. Shelby's a junior. A little bit of a pick back there. Yeah, this is the second time I saw them try to run a, a razor pick down at X as opposed to up on the actual goal line extended. Nash thought about it, finds Caden Martin. Low shot! It's good. Martin gets his first goal of the game, adds to his team total. It's now 14 on the season for the senior. You see Martin push up goal line extended and he just tucks his stick he sees the slide coming shoots right between defenders and just tucks it away and he got close to the crease Gallagher goes out top nowhere to go nice job by the defense for Warwick Renaud sends it behind to Nash trying to weave his way in loves that contact Low pass to Renaud, evades a defender. Oh, and he gets clobbered on defense. I mean, before he got hit, he had a really nice little toe drag. Nice block <laughs> from Shelby. Some good things going on defensively for the Warriors. It's a big stop in traffic. A lot of long poles in there. Yeah. I mean, that was impressive. He ate that shot. <laughs> well. Back to Warwick, though. Down to two minutes here to go in this entertaining first quarter. Low scoring by Kakalico's standards. Amy hits the Jets. Shot. Score. Minnie gets himself in the books, I believe. 
You can see Mini does a really nice job off of the rollback here, going Warwick dominant right hand. As 16, soon as the stick presents, Aiden he rolls Mini. back and he just lets it go left-handed with his offhand. I mean, that is a great shot right there. And, you know, contrasting styles right now. We're seeing Kokaliko take shot, 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 mm -hmm. shot, shot. And Warwick is being a little bit more patient with how they're approaching the net right now. Dude. We'll step aside. We come back second quarter between these section two rivals. Landon Raylick, number 23, a junior. Over to Hummel. Top to Mini. Well, he's got some good speed. A lot of traffic Ooh. and eventually finds Rigney's. And Rigney, by the way, goalkeeper for Kakalko, a freshman. Has earned that spot, according to Coach Oberly. Whistle, timeout. He called a timeout. He called a timeout. Here's I don't take a look at this here. Oh, it, uh, it went off loud loud slugger. Slugger. again. That's at least two or three today. <laughs> He's eating a lot of shots. <laughs> yeah, you kind of want to see this played at its purest form, but both teams will have to adjust to it. Inside, oh pass, nice block, Shelby. Oh I thought that was point blank range. It sure was. It was a great feed on the back side there from Gallagher. Nash has it, though. Kakalico still in possession. And, boy, that's unfortunate. It looked like Renat had that right in front of net. And, again, every time the clock gets to six minutes, that horn goes off. Oh, oh. it hit the post. <laughs> okay, so I guess he did get his stick on it. It but looks it, like, yes. Boy, what a what an angle that was. Point blank range. Kakalico will maintain. Yeah, big matchup to watch there is Nash and Conrad. Uh, Nash has been able to get inside a couple of times. Low shot is good. The low one finally scoots home, and it looked like it was Renaud that put it home to tie things up. Oh, yeah. And like a lot like Minnie's been playing on the other side of the field, I'm seeing a lot of similar movement out of Renaud. He pushes, he bounces, he rolls, and as soon as he rolls, he finds that little opening for the overplay over top, and then just kind of slides it home low. That's a tough shot to block. Minnie has slowed things down here, make a little bit of a change. Also eating up some time as well. Comes Minnie, hits the brakes. Again, spin move, shot, and wow, nice save from the backup freshman. Gotta be nice to have two of those guys on the <laughs> roster. <laughs> They'll push each other. So a 2-2 ball game here in Lenox. And weather has two, been a factor. Two. And it's been a fun game to watch so far. Wayne, uh, what does Kakalico need to do better here in the second half? I mean, with their shots, cleaning them up and getting them on the frame of the cage is going to be paramount. I am sure that Coach Oberly was talking about that a lot. Kikalico wins the face off. Cole Barnes lets one fire. And, and how many times do we see him do that and just... Yeah, last year it was impressive. Hit the back of the net. Yeah, that's a lot of time. And I mean, if he's one of your top six guys, you, you keep him down there, you know? Oh, maybe in his senior year he is. You know, maybe they just had so many other options mm -hmm. in other well, that's years. That's a good pick. Shot attempt, Shelby <laughs> scoops it. Big save. Me. <laughs> Nash, yeah, just that slipped out. Nothing he could do yeah. there. Yeah. I mean, uh, Conrad looked like he did get to the bottom hand nicely, uh, but just not the shorthandedness that we're used to seeing. I think the weather has to be a huge factor in that. The ball slipped Offense. out there of Offense. care. He didn't know. I don't think it was anything he did necessarily. Quick offense and yeah. score. Just like that, Calico pounces and capitalizes. That, that was, was incredible. Gallagher. That was Gallagher, I believe, yeah. yeah. That's a nice finish in track with a, a defender on you there. We'll get another look at it because it was a whole Yeah, point. feed in for Martin. I, I mean... Boy, that was just very quick counterattack. Yeah. yeah. So and again, it all, all happened because Kerr had lost the ball. As, I mean, he's so used to that contact. 
like sometimes it's hard to tell if that ball's in your stick or not. No, he uh, he was traveling up the field, and then all of a sudden it was out. The sidelines saw it, and he did not. We had they to kind did. of catch Warwick off balance. Barnes comes Warwick away with it. Scored by number 73, Brady Gallagher. So 3-2 lead here for Calico. They're our actual first lead of the ball game. Digman is getting checked out high inside. Nash has it and scores. And the goals are starting to come now for Kikalico. They've figured out something. Yeah, it looked like maybe after a slide popped out, he just kind of ran a little pop into space. Slide, pop into space, catch, shot. And I guess when the ball is kind of having a tough time in the stick being right in front of the keeper is to see if it is his face off stick that he's playing with or if he's got another what stick. What would be the difference to the average person watching? Um, if you look at the head and it's really pinched. A nice shot. Digman buries that over the shoulder of hold the up, keeper. No, up. the referees are gonna have to discuss it. What are they feeling like? They do call it a goal. Uh, Warwick there thought they had something. Yeah, yeah that was an interesting little couldn't really tell Maneuver. what happened. You saw it hit the net there. I mean, there. it definitely yeah. hit the net. So it's 5-2 now, a three-goal run here for Kukalico coming out of the... I think I know what Coach Minnick's going to clip up for the film room. Oh, that Ooh. one hit Shelby right in the neck, it looked like, as he blocked it. Good thing he's got that throat guard. That's true. That's a good point. A lot of bodies hitting the deck here. <coughs> They're gonna call a push on Warwick, it looked like. Yeah, there's a shot. Ooh. That was high, Face yeah, mask. up high. Three, was it Skidmore, I'm sorry. Well, Skidmore was cutting, Okay. but it was um, Raylick that was A lot of carries out ball. there. Yeah. <laughs> Good Calico gets it down. There's a shot oh, and a goal. A, a D mid goal. <laughs> oh, really? The most glorious <laughs> thing ever. <laughs> Bailey Mull somehow getting involved in the offense. He just kind of rumbles down through, moves inside, and. How about it? Says, I don't get to shoot much. Why don't I take one? Goal by Mull. Let's see. How many is that this year? It's his second goal of the season for Bailey Mull. After three, Galico leads it six to two. We'll find out how the fourth quarter ends up here in just a minute. End up that way. Galico back with it. Gallagher. Using that bottom hand well. Shot, score out top. Digman, he'll put the second one home for himself today. And the goals keep coming for Calico. Had a bit of an alleyway there. Let's see it again. Gallagher does a really good job of creating space with his bottom hand on the stick so there. Steps out away, feeds Digman. up high, and Digman just buries it. This is Gallagher swinging it out top. Nash thought about it, runs off the pick. Nice job by Conrad on defense. He'll go with the shot off the that post. Pipes. Boy, that's probably one of the better shots that he's done from that position today and just unlucky. It looked like he took it lefty too. There's no way that went in. Mm, I didn't see much angle. That was the most nonchalant goal you'll ever see in boys lacrosse. It almost looked like he just dropped it in. Yeah. Like a feather, watch this. Off the post. That was a good shot, left-handed shot, nice. And then Gallagher gets it back here. And then on the reset. Just watch this. Dodge back. Just, I don't, did it, did it deflect off of his hip or something? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Is he a magician? That was <laughs> wild. <laughs> is that LS? Or? Yes, it okay. is LS. I'm trying to find the date for you. LS will be April 2nd at Cacalico. That's another goal for Kakaliko. And that one's Barnes 
look like he, he skips this really far back. And I just don't know that Shelby was able to make a play on it here. Yeah, let's take another look at it. One on one. Oh yeah, went low. And yeah. Shelby was down, but yeah. Yeah, just Barnes. too good. But I, with how far back this skipped, I wonder if he thought that the ball was gonna maybe rise more. I don't know. Despite the fact that Kikalico is back-to-back -back football champions, you know, and you know, it still was the lacrosse one that kind of stuck with him. Yeah. He had a chance to be a double district champion last year, and it did not happen. Gallagher, shot skips by. Martin is there. Yes, they're doubling the ball here. Six minutes to go. Warwick trails by seven. Kikalico's going to keep shooting. I can't tell if that was off the post or off of Jackson, but either way, it stays with Kikalico. That's Gallagher. He'll shoot right in the gut yeah. of Jackson. Good thing he got that chest guard. Oh, I was just going to oh say he had good oh abs. Martin. Oh, I'll nice block. Uh, sound. Nice effort from Jackson <laughs> I love Shelby. It. I love the Can dive. we just give Jackson Shelby some credit today? I know it's <laughs> nine to two, but it could be a lot worse. And he has done such a nice job there. Well, and it's it's a weird nine to two. It's not indicative of what this entire game has looked like. It's a nine to two that's become nine to two just in this quarter, mm -hmm. really, you know. That effort right there. I mean that gotta make a coach so happy. That whole sequence, other than the turnover, obviously. Gotta go up. Go Shelby up. will pass it up. It's picked off again. I think that was Nash playing safety. Quick offense should lead to a score, and Digman makes them pay. I think Kikalik is showing you now what they can be this season. They are a team that really God. capitalizes They quickly. can put them in quick. Yeah. They can definitely put them in quick. That was a nice uh, Warwick's uh, really struggling to clear right now. Well. And something on the faceoff is they continue, Kokalko continues to sort of try and back him up because they trust him getting the ball and going forward. Here comes Kerr. He's got a lot of room to work. Kokalko knows it. He'll just go right in there and shoot and scores. How about that? There he goes. Quinn Kerr finally gets Warwick off the schneid. It had been eight straight goals by the Eagles, and Kerr doing what he does best, advancing it down the field. Yeah, and he just sort of runs past. I thought he was going to put Renaud in a blender a little bit there, but. I have Kukalico winning 10, 15 faceoffs today. Mm, that sounds right. And you can count the ones for Warwick on one hand. Nash with it, passes it, and... Ops for placement there. Yeah, was that Karsha that scored that? that it yeah. happened so fast, I couldn't tell. He, he didn't wind up. He went off speed. and Let's see here, Nash dumps it in. Yes, Karsha was just yeah, right just there. Pick space. I'm also going to guess they don't see goalie with the size that Jackson Shelby has. Yeah, he's able to peer over that crossbar. Yeah. Comes Martin, the reverse spin goes high. As Martin again. takes a tumble. And it looks like uh, Kikalik is going to have to pull him off of a teammate. Warwick guy. You got a good How about teammate that? There with that was Renan. great. Yep. I didn't really see a ton there. Watch Martin take a tumble here. Oh, oh, oh cut yeah, him underneath there. That was like Quinn Kerr, yeah. Caught him in the leg. And, and nicely done by Renaud to hop in there. I didn't notice that. I saw, him, I saw him hit the turf. Catching a lot of hits after the shots. Oh, Skidmore. That, Rigney that's scoops a it. good save. Uh, I think Skidmore took a really nice shot. Well, Rigney is making oh, some rookie oh. mistakes there. Buzzer sounds, shot misses. <laughs> Kigalik will score, leave it 11, 11 three. to 3. Well, that'll do it for our Boys Lacrosse here. Thanks for watching exclusive coverage of High School Boys Lacrosse on Blue Ridge 11.